Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Alinka from dreamlifecreation.com and today I want to talk to you about the attraction marketing and law of attraction. Uh, you know I'm a big fan of law of attraction and what it says and I want to uh, share with you how your actions and how your attitude towards something affects your decisions and how it affects my decisions around what you're saying and what you're doing. So the basic, uh, the basic definition of law of attraction is what you, uh, what you want, you attract, what you focus on expands, where your focus goes, it grows and things like that. Hey Tanya. So, uh, it's basically where you are putting your energy, where you're putting your focus. It's not just the words that you're saying, but where you are spending your energy, how you're spending your time, what you're really, really working on and focusing on. And, uh, you know, a lot of times we say we want things like big houses, big cars, big promotions, uh, successful businesses, but we are doing just the opposite, you know? So this is just the words that doesn't mean really anything. And a lot of people get the law of attraction wrong because they think that they will, you know, put together uh, maybe a journal, a vision board or whatever with their uh, dream things on that, you know, focusing more on the material things than what they are doing, what they are saying. Hey, Michelle, hello from Slovenia. So it is more about the energy and what you are experiencing and how you visualize those things in your life. Are you excited about it? Are you working towards them? Uh, are you, are your actions support your dreams? You know, you, you can say, I want big house, a successful business. And then you, you are on the sofa uh, the whole day, you know, it will just not land in, uh, in your lap. So, and, uh, regarding to the business, I often hear uh, when I share my opportunity with others, you know, sometimes they are like, yeah, but it's a scam. I searched on the Google and they say it's a scam. You know, first of all, my response is, sorry, you know, obviously you don't know me enough. I haven't gained your trust. So you, you assumed that I would send something illegal to you. So that is kind of my fault because I haven't developed that relationship, that trust with you that you would, uh, do, that you would be open to see what I'm sharing. But on the other hand, it says a lot about you because when your first reaction is, I will go to Google and find the bad things that are, that are around, around this business or around this opportunity. You know, it says that you are actually searching for bad things. And you know how Google is. You can find uh, good stuff and bad stuff about anything. You know, you can, you can uh, Google Gandhi, you can Google Mother Teresa, you can Google Princess Diana, you can Google Apple, you can Google McDonald's, um, uh, you know, every situation, every product, every person, every organization, every company, every whatever you, you know, even, even every, uh, when you're looking for a health, health uh, solutions, you know, maybe for the uh, you have some problems and you're, you're searching for the, uh, for the solution. You will find, you know, this works and then you will find also this doesn't work. It's the same with the uh, flu shots. It's the same with the, um, you know, everything on this planet <laughs> you can find on Google good and bad things. And what you find and what you believe is actually what you are thinking and what you are believing. So if I believe that something is good for me and, you know, I persuaded myself that, that coffee is good for me, I really drink a lot of coffee and everyone knows that. And I, I am, I am hundred percent sure that it is good for me. So no matter what they say, you know, you should not drink more than one cup. You should not drink that. I always find proofs and researches and links that say, yeah, drinking more coffee will will uh, improve your life. You will live longer if you drink a lot of coffee. So it's everything is around you and your perception and your, your, uh, your beliefs. And even if you don't feel like it, even if you think that 
you're really researching and you're seeing the stuff that you, you know, like a, they are neutral and they are uh, not affecting, but you actually focus on the things that you, that you want to focus. So if you're looking that something is bad, you will definitely find the proof that something is bad. If you're looking for the proof that something is good, you will find the proof that something is good. So going back to, to the opportunity. So I, I say, are you open to see? And you know, they say, yeah, sure, of course. And then the next conversation we have is, is we, uh, is a scam. So for me, it says, um, this person is actually looking for the bad. Do I really need that person in my team? Because, you know, hey, Mira, because every time I will say something, I will share something, you know, there will be something new, or maybe I will teach something or whatever. They will find something negative in it. You know, it is this the right person. A lot of people start arguing uh, that, you know, oh, no, this company is is so sold and makes so much money and is this and is that. But, you know, it's like a waste of time and waste of energy because you are you are putting the energy into someone who's really negative about it. It's it's better to just say, hey, no problem. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a great day and stay on the on the friendly basis or maybe just touch with them every once in a while. If they come uh, at the first at the first introduction to the business or to do something, they they come with this negative attitude, you know, it's a pretty good indication that they will continue with that. And this is in their, in their, um, in their energy. They are not looking for solutions. They are not looking, even if you give them something, yeah, you should do this and this and this, you give them advice. They will always find something negative about it and they will find more excuses than they will, they will go forward and working on the solution. So, for me, it's, you know, I'm like, a, I could probably get more people on my team if I would spend more time with them, working with them. But on the other hand, you know, I'm like, hey, if you're not a hell yes, you are no. You know, because I don't want in my team someone who's very negative because one rotten apple will, will bring that negative energy in my whole team. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with people that approach the opportunity, approach the business, approach the, uh, the solutions with a negative mind. I want to work with people that are positive, that are really looking for a solution and that, that are ready to do some changes and that are ready to, uh, to change their lives and to listen to someone because obviously, you know, we are, we are all in the mature ages and if we haven't achieved our dreams so far we are not obviously working something that that's working we need help we need someone to guide us and if we are not open to that you know the, the situation will just stay the same if you are not uh if you are not looking for the ways to improve you know there's only two ways or you are uh Sorry, what the perfection is the lowest. I, I didn't read that, but yes, you are right. The perfection is the other excuse. But, uh, you know, moving forward in an open mind, at least trying to see something good in, in everything, you know, not shutting it down immediately, especially not after Googling it. And we, we discussed it before how, uh, how we, we can find what we are looking for. So I really hope for you, that you um, evaluate what you're looking for in your life, what you're doing, what you're working, how you're approaching uh, when someone approaches you with, with a presentation, how you are reacting when someone posts something that's not exactly aligned with your, with your posture, with your energy or with what you're thinking. Maybe they know something that you don't know. Maybe they have something that you don't have. I don't know. But if you're not open to look at it and uh, maybe just consider it, then you will never know. You will just stay where you are forever. Um, and, you know, I don't want to, to go too long about it, but you get the idea. What you focus on expands. If you focus on the positive things, if you focus on the solutions, if you focus on, the, uh, on finding the way instead of finding problems, finding excuses, and finding what's bad in something, in 
in an opportunity, in company, in product, in your business, in your whoever you're talking to. Maybe you can ask yourself, is this what b serves me best? Is this what I'm really uh, after? You know, yeah, I know it is some sort of a protection and you are, you know, staying in your, in your zone, but maybe it is limiting you too much. Maybe it is just uh, blocking your success. You, you, if you just, you know, get over this fence or maybe just do another step, you know, the whole new world could open up for you, but you never know if you don't look for it. If you are not open to try something new, if you are not open to learn and listen to others, what they have to say and what, what they are offering. So, um, that's it for now. <laughs> for now, I hope that you are, I'm sure that you are positive and that you're looking, uh, to the life from a bright side of, of it. Um, Talk to you later. If you're looking for a mentor, I am looking for, for people to work with me always. So if you're open to learn a few uh, new things and if you're open to, to get a guidance, uh, please respond to this, to this uh, video, send me a message uh, and I will get back to you and we can start talking. Bye for now. Have a great day and talk to you later.